Hello, I'm Ehida, and uh, do I have to say what we're going to do today? Yeah. We're going to cut it shorter and we're going to dye it like a copper red sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah a copper blonde red. Copper blonde. Yeah. Combination. Yeah. Well, it's done, so you can see how your hair is now. This is the first time you model for me. Yeah. This is quite exciting. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. And friends on YouTube gonna do Evita's hair, and it's the first time she models for me, so uh, yeah, find out what kind of hair she has. <laughs> now I know she has curly hair, it's almost the same hair as I had when I was young. I was only a little bit lighter of color. She chose the yellow cape, because one of her favorite colors. Yeah. And then I'm gonna wet the hair and see how it goes, flows and does. And how it's colors because it's very important to know the, the waves and the shapes of the skull. Now she has a fine hair structure, so I have to take and be aware of that. Her implant on the neckline is also a little bit high. I have to take care of that. <laughs> and the fold is very long. And she had a greenish color in the underlines. You don't see it now, but there is a greenish color in the underlines of the hair. To make it easier to do her hair, I put a little bit of conditional spray on my hair. This gives more structure and more, um, more soft waves, and it holds the moist very nice into her hair. And I think I'm going to start in the back because then I can work to the skull bone. Show you that the skull bone is really nice. Can make a nice underline. Leave a little bit length because her hair implant is very high. And it's also not the thickest hair implant, so I have to have some hair on this because otherwise it's too short. But I find my way while I'm cutting. And I'll always be inspired by the way hair is and what it does. And all the things around that and her of course we talked about her hobbies she loves sailing so she also loves the wind <laughs> wind blowing through my hair yeah <laughs> and then she lost short hair yeah. okay hey let's start on the cut go in on the skull bone and take the hairs off about on a length of a centimeter one and a half Watch how the curls fall and try to find some rest in the neckline. By lifting up the comb I can hold a little bit more length in the underlines so I don't put it flat on the skin but just hold it a bit more straight and work to my first line. Like a rustic, huh? Yeah, it's pretty. Film and you do it on the other side. Huh? Film and you do it on the other side. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. You have a bit of a quartier, toch? Die uh, Albert Heijn. Ja. Ja. Sorry. Mijn personeel zegt het, ik kon er nooit hoor. Ja? Nee, wat moet dan? Wat heb ik daar verloren? Ja. Het zijn van de duurste winkels toch? Ja, maar dat maakt me niet zoveel uit. Ja. Weet je, voor zakelijke zaken kost gewoon geld. Ja. See the difference? And see how wonderful a skull bone is. So, I create afterwards more volume in the roundings by using the skull bone the way I do it now because I take away a lot of weight in the underlines and holding some length on the upper lines without ju just gonna cut by holding the hairs between my fingers because now it's a freehand cutting system I should be by turning a bit 
how the kills and the waves are. So I kill in and I kill always in the opposite lines of the waves. And by laying the hairs back, you can see how wonderful they are. And the wonderful thing of the place we're working in, my studio, is that you can hear the scissors. And that's a real nice noise because there's also a fan in the back. I need this because otherwise there's no noise at all. You only hear us breathing. <laughs> very satisfying noise. <laughs> yeah, it's a very relaxing noise. Yeah, very. Going from above, I set out the line. Do this slice cutting. Oh man. <laughs> So it holds the lines real nice and soft. The nice thing about uh, the tools of uh, Kiona is that you can also use them as a knife. So when you don't have a knife you can use the scissor. Same on the other side. slice cutting again. Just makes a nice soft line. Not touching the contour, but only the hairs that come from under the contour line to clean them up. And there it is, on it again, and just minor corrections on the line. Before I go coloring, I take this part and put a little bit of wax on it so the skin doesn't get irritated by coloring. Okay, clean this up. And okay, go starting in the center. Laying the hands aside. This is gonna work out. Go and do this with a hot razor, it's a tool of Ergo. And in her case, I lay, because she has a little bit wavy curly hair, I lay the first line of curling hair just over the skull bone. So I'm certain that it stays over the roundings of a skull. Heel zacht als je hiermee werkt, daar voel je niks van. Ja, ja ik voel het goed. Nee, dat is echt. Talking about uh, the way you work with a, a knife like this, you never feel pulling of the hairs. It is gentle, soft to the hairs. It works very easy. You don't have to have any force on the hairs. Just set it on the hairs and let it do the work. Maar komt dat omdat ze heet is of door de Ja, door de hitte. Take the hairs over to the center and lay them again into the roundings.
and make sure all the lines are in that line. So always using the natural shapes into the hairstyle. Take some hair on it from the sides. First pull it to the center line. Go in with my knife. Also on this side, take the hairs to the center, lift them up, watch at the roundings of the skull. Hold my fingers also in the same rounding. So now I have a totally new back on the hair, so now I can go to the sides, starting on the left side. In the line, line of the eyebrow line, I part the line onto the line on the back. Set the hairs aside. Knowing that the photo she showed me, the hair on the sides is short but not totally free of ears, so she has a little bit more length on the ears. But that's in line with the line I made on the back, so it's not a problem. Lay the hair to the back, go in on the ear, lift it over the ear. Just go in. Watch at the eyebrow lines. And use those lines into the lines because the holy bone gives also a structure to the hair. And that structure you, I can see because there's a wavy effect in it. So I use that wavy effect to go to the back. Holding the side beards nice and soft, so I get a really nice haircut. Part my first line from the back. Watch at the chin lines. Go in. Watch at the ears, where the ears are. And lay this line on the line of cutting. Shape them in the roundings to the back, so I get a really soft line to the front and to the back. So now the hair is laid to the front and to the back in a real nice line. Again holding the side bits nice soft. Take some new hair on it. The front is already drying out. <laughs> Go swimming. Lift hairs up. Hold my comb in the line of the chin line. Watch over my fingers to the line of the ears so I know that it's a bit shorter than the other lines. And go to the front. Now in her hairstyle she chose was a little bit of fridge, but not too short, a bit like this. So not a really short fringe, but nicely the uh, total skull length will be lo looking longer afterwards. Go a little bit over the center line. Do the same. Point my fingers over the line of the chin line. And holding my knife on the length of the ears. So I just watch at the line I cut in previous lines. And for so far, this side, it looks already totally different. Go to the other side. Almost, eh? Like that. Yeah, I'm going to copy from. 
Ja, het is ook veel frisser. Absoluut. Ik kan wel even smaken. <laughs> Coming to the left side. Again, lay the hairs in the line of the eyebrow line, into the lines of the holy bone. Create my first line. Connect it to the back. And also on this side, we leave a little bit length on the ears to create a really soft feminine hairstyle. But also really short. Wait, mess that's it. Yeah. It's very cool. I guess not that sort of thing up soon. No, leuk is that. Yeah. For those who love uh, to see my TCC1 care cut again, the scissor. It came back from the factory, had a really good service on that. Really nice people, I had a good conversation. So in the near future you will certainly see the scissor again in my videos. TC1 care cut is a heet uh, schaar. Was die kapot? Ja, er zat een storing in, in, in een computergedeeltje. Oh, ja. En werd hij dan te heet? Of? Ja, hij deed het maar niet meer. Oh. Hij ging flunderen. Ja. Maar dat is wel fijner dan dat hij te heet werd. Uh... Ja, zeker. Nee, maar wat die vlucht heet, hoor. in mijn geval. Want dan smaakt het haar gewoon nat. Ja. Take some new hair on it. Again, watch at the chin lines. Pointing on the line of the ears. So it's a bit higher than normally because I take the hair straight out of the line of parting. On the ears, I bend it to the other side again. So I've also a real good fall to the back. Ik ben ook een heel hoop van dat van een droge spul kwijt, wat je had. Ja. Dat is wel heel gaaf. Ja, ja dat was dus droog omdat ik het had ge gebleken en ja. geverfd. En... Ja, alles. Van alles erin gaan. <laughs> ja, acht zonder doe je wel mee keer jong. Ja, daarom. Nou, ik heb nog niemand die zegt, ik wil dat niet. <laughs> nee, ja. Het is je eigen haar. Ja, precies. Ik was ook een keer uh, op vrijdagavond om vijf uur of zo. De kapper was al dicht. Ja. Dus ik dacht, nou, ik wil mijn haar geknipt, dus dan doe ik het zelf maar. Ja. Dus uh, het was niet moeilijk. Ik heb wel een mooie koffie van. Hè? Echt leuk. Ja, ik veel, uh... Coming to the center. You see, Dutch girls are really tall because uh, I stand behind her and I think she's a head more in length than I am. It doesn't matter as long as she stays down. <laughs> Take my Christmas tree effect in the upper lines. Take it up. Watch till the hair slips away of cutting. So you see the hairs here. And then I go in with my hot knife. And create a special effect because we want a playable effect on this curly hair. And this stimulates really nice the curly effect of it. Going to the center on the front. Need a little bit of water. And to the other side. Let's dance. Even blauw. Mooi, zo. Heel goed. Mijn zwager die is uh, verantwoordelijk voor de foto-expositie bij die David Bowie musical die er is. Oh, echt? Ja, zijn zijn foto's die daar. Wat wow. echt cool. Nou, ik denk voor zover. Ik heb een hair. Dus ik kan 
show you the total video of this, how I made this, because uh, it's not that long, so I can put the total haircut on YouTube. Make her a collar. Okay, created her a collar. It's, uh, I, I put a photo now on the video so you can see the colors. I'm using uh, 30 volume. It's 9% and applying this all over her hair. Put also conditioner in like I always do. I love to work with conditioners because it makes the hair so wonderful afterwards. Really soft. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're gonna feel like hair. <laughs> well it's like a rope, but it's no hair. Yeah. Work till I get about a centimeter over the fall of the skull. Because in the underlines I will use a little bit more. Uh, dark color into the color I'm creative, so I make it a little bit more deeper of color, so I get the more, yeah, more hairstyle, <laughs> like uh, a hairdresser does. Because uh, normally, when you put color hair at home, she has only one color. But as a hairdresser, I like to give a signature to the hairs, showing that somebody else did it, not she. So I leave over the underline. And this I make deeper of color. Maar zit er dan ook meteen bleek in of hoeft ik nee. geen... Uh... Nee, ik gebruik 9%. Ik doe over oxideren. Mm. Ik wil juist om zo min mogelijk bleek op je haar. Ja, dat snap ik. Het is zo gevoelig voor je haar. Ja, en dan wordt haar ook heel droog van toch? Ja, dat vind ik echt slecht. Ja. En de kleuren zijn alle lichte kleuren, zijn acht kleuren. Okay. Acht is uh, natuurlijk blond. Mm, okay. Maar dan wel met een karakter, dus die heb je nu erin zitten. En dan uh, 9% maakt het dus lichter. Je eigen haarkleur breekt die meer af. Yeah. Maar dat doet hij zonder het haar te beschadigen, omdat het te verf is. Mm, dat is wel fijn. Ja, dus je hebt dadelijk een echt geweldige glans in je haar. <laughs> Geen uh, droog haar meer? Nee. Nee, je hebt dadelijk echt ander haar als dat je net begon. <laughs> Dat is fijn. Ja, want als mijn haar droogt, gaat dat echt heel erg pluizen. Ja, dat is niet fijn. Gewoon één grote bol. Ja. De bol, I mix a little bit zero. Dat is een black. So in the rest of the colors, I put this. Don't have to put any peroxide in it because there's already peroxide into the color. And I only want to get it uh, two, three levels deeper of color. This is used in the underlines. And then to be sure that it's a soft overflow, take my comb and gently comb it in the underline only to get rid of the difference between the upper lines and the underlines. Now close this up. We are going for. Uh, she's going for tea. I go for coffee. So you just stay there. We'll be back in a second <laughs> because uh, once rinsed out after 25 minutes, I'm back to style her hair. She always wanted to look like grandma. <laughs> and it's raining outside. Yeah. A whole week already. <laughs> Another storm. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay, back from coloring. After 25 minutes you rinse it out. This is result. Now I'm going to use uh, different products on her hair. First I put in a conditioner because I love the way her hair flows and curls and moves. Because I like to get that into the hairstyle. So I take uh, of uh, Glint, 
This product is a leaf-in product. It's uh, about uh, 12 treatments in one small bottle. And it takes about uh, something like a ping pong ball. In this product, you can, you can, this is the moist version. It's the blue. And there's always something like green tea in it. And you can smell the green tea. It smells really nice. Yeah, it smells really natural. Now this is not a volume product, so it's just a nursing product. So I put a little bit of velvet. It's a foam of lint. Also something like a ping pong ball over this. This will come gently to the hairs. This is a very funny hairstyle because you can also wear it a little bit boyish if she likes to. She go to Italy, but no, you <laughs> cannot because uh, it's forbidden by the government. But you can do a lot with the hair. So even this looks wonderful on her because it opens her face and then you see the beautiful lights and she has beautiful eyes. <laughs> Cut a blow dry it. Using only my fingers and nothing more than that. So far, blow drying. Mm. And now take a really nice wax, it's uh, of Goldwell, and it states that this KMS is crystal turn. And it really nurses the hairs, it gives a wonderful smell, and it never greases the hair. So you can every morning put a little bit into your hairs and the hairs will stay in a wonderful condition, have a natural glow. You can go with your fingers through your hairs if you like to without getting greasy hands. I think this is a beautiful hairstyle for her. I thank her for being my model. I thank you for watching. She will certainly turn so you can see the end result. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ehida. And uh, do I have to say what we're going to do today? Yeah. We're gonna cut it shorter and we're gonna dye it like a copper red sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a copper blonde red. Copper blonde. Yeah. Combination. Yeah. Well, it's done so you can see how your hair is now. This is the first time you model for me. Yeah. This is quite exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much.